Hello, Glass here, Mega Man Network Transmission. Um, in between parts, I did um, farm M cannons and such. It turns out the max is 10, so I didn't have to spend very long. I think I grabbed like 12 and then noticed that the last 10 hadn't counted. Um, let's see, I also put in Heat V instead of Heat Shot, and then I bought some more Heat Vs. I didn't buy more bub V's because I don't think you can buy bub V's. I did buy more bubbler though, there's somewhere here. I bought like 25 of them to go from 5 to 30. Er, no, wait. Oh yeah, there, no? I must have bought them and then switched them out. That was clearly the best decision. Because I wrote down that I bought them. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, they're really not in there. <laughs> Um, I also swapped out my Recov 30s, 10 of them, for two Recov 150s, and the Recov 30s were at max stacks, and I can stack this more, so it'll only get better, potentially. Uh, swapped out Shotgun for my Satellite 3s, uh, stocked up on Tree Bombs to get those to max, because they were at 5 and 6, respectively. Um... Let's see, I, I didn't actually know where to get more Satellite 3s, or I would have gotten more of those too. Also, um, I wanted to note over here, even though I didn't include them. Yeah, if you... Here are my bubblers. <laughs> 30 of them now. For no reason. Yeah, also I wanted to point out that Kunai, it's a chip. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Also, we got Muramaza from Shadow Man. You, yeah, gain, gains power as you lose HP. Uh, I might want to use that eventually, like, after I do more fighting of Navis and get things to, like, 5 stack. Um, you know. Anyway, we're going to, um, yeah, we're through the passcode. Uh, where's Dex's house? Oh, yeah, the, the area highlighted in red, because <laughs> it's the closest. And that'll also swing us by Number Man, so I want to visit him and buy more, um, HP memory and stuff. I almost did that off camera, but then I was like, wait, no, we're going there anyway. Um. Oh, man, I'm bad. Just in case you forgot. It's still true. See, I think I actually want to go up that ladder. I forget how to navigate this area. But I know that the guy there says that if I go up the ladder, it'll take me to Global Area 3. Oh. So we gotta do it this way. I, I know I could have double jumped, but we, we all know what happens when I waste my double jumps frivolously. I don't get backup chips. I didn't go back for it, as you can see. Wait, do I want to go this way? What was up here? Ah! Excellent. Um, global Area 3, and then from here I get to Outer... Wait, no. This is the wrong place. This is where I keep going with that shortcut. <laughs> so I wonder why they recommend using Dexes instead of the shortcut. I think this is faster to come down this way. You would just use the shortcut and then go back in. Oh well. We're to global area one. Uh, link above us to outer net. Excellent. That's where we were told to go. Oh, I should just pull this up and close it just so that I start getting 10 chips. Because it's not like I'm going to want chips for these enemies. Even if they hit me, it's not because I... Oops. Not because I forgot to hold up, but because um, I just didn't react if an enemy in this area hits me. Like, that's <laughs> not really any other way of saying it. <laughs> Because it's accurate. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure you, somebody could find more phrases, but that's not really the important part. 
The exact phrase, I mean. Okay. So we head this way. Oh, hi. <laughs> just brawling it out with enemies, and I have tons of hit points. So we just passed up there where we had our first encounter with Starman, I believe. Who is now dead. Oh yeah, we get an HP memory and a mem up, and that's like all our cash. I think I only spent like 4k on bubblers, because they're cheap individually. Wait, I'm gonna go down here for the first time ever. And then we wonder why Dex had a level 5 code. Uh, he probably told us, actually. Wait, can I kill these? Oh, man. I am overpowered. Yeah, I mean, I'm just holding up and left, and if I hit jump at the top to let go of the ladder, I grab the next one. So that part is not actually difficult. Especially because you can kill these. I wonder if I wanted to go up at all there, using... Actually, I think there is something up there if I use my double jumps. Legendary WW Area 1. <laughs> yeah, it sure looks that way. Yeah, I would expect traps. But I want to go back. I, th I think there was something I saw that I couldn't get to because I didn't have the level 5 code. Like, if I go up... Oh, I don't have double jump. <laughs> um, so there's zero. I almost want to just, like, waste this on some enemy. So we see it. I don't want to forget to show it. Uh, what, what, yeah, let's bring some stuff that I have, like, some stock of. I apparently didn't figure out where high cannons were. Yeah, that. I want it. And I fell all the way. Excellent. Whatever. It's not a challenge to get up there. Oh, I also bought more unlockers when I was off camera. Okay, wait. Where can I go up? Right there. <sighs> Slasher. What would that do in this game? Uh, let's just... Not map, folder. Uh, nah, eh, fine. I'll just look at it in this. I wanted to see the power. Cut the enemy with perfect stance and timing. Hmm. It doesn't tell me anything about its usage. Because in the main series games, you're kind of fighting on a grid that's divided into your half and the enemy half, and Slasher will attack something if it comes onto your half. If you're still holding the button. Like, you press A to activate the chip, and then it's in use until... Ooh. Um, until you let go or take damage. Okay, magic blocks. I'm gonna let go of B. The best time to announce that you're gonna let go of a button is after you've already let go of it. Um, gonna hold right, so that after I unlock this... Oh, another slasher. Okay, so those weren't a challenge. Whoa! Okay. Got him. And what does that give me? Metal body. I did notice that, um, unlike stone body, uh, metal body and whatever the other one was, uh, they apparently still allow you to move, because their description says that you can't shoot, not that you can't move. Is that gonna respawn? Okay. Oh! Ah, this must be where I get, um, Tree Bomb 3. That might be worth getting at some point. I can get a better rat chip here, I imagine. Or it can despawn. That's fine, too. So, uh, that money off to the left is totally not worth it, by the way. Uh, 
Uh, I'm apparently not going to kill that rat ever. Oh, no, got him. Okay, you probably drop a recove, because... Wow, it even heals itself. Um... Let's get him! <laughs> okay! Got him! So I think that would deal like 300 damage if I used it against the boss. Or maybe it would get invincibility and only take 100 total. But I think each slash is 100 damage, because the list of damage on the chip was 100. That's how things work, generally. Oh, hi. Oh, jumping in the spikes is a brilliant idea. I wish I could kill those fast enough to get their chip. Maybe I should use zero on him. Because I bet it's one of the big recubs, too. Oh. I bet I can crush you against the ceiling if you're not careful. Okay. Gold fist. That's acceptable. Ooh! Back up. So, I can go up and I can go left. Uh, I feel like up feels more side pathy. Oh man, I got some. Yeah, there's even a level exit down. I could see on the bottom of the screen for a moment. Oh, what's going on here? I know that puppy thing's a virus. It gives... Well, normally a chip that lets you hide in the ground. Uh, I think it's called pop-up. Oh! But here it gives a recover 300, which is excellent. I'm a fan of that. Oh, that's, that's the entire point of that. You get recover 300 for kind of playing a minigame, I guess. I think it just escapes if you don't hit it in time, to be honest. <sighs> so yeah, I would recommend heading that way. Oh. This... Yeah, I, I didn't have it. Well, I could have grabbed chips and maybe gotten something that would have allowed me to hit it. But I didn't really have any good answer to... Oh! I should have preserved some of those blocks, I have the feeling. Because they're only coming back if I repair. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, um, none of this will allow me to eliminate that rat. Yeah, I'm not going to take roll, because roll's too valuable against the boss. 50% health recovery is just nice. Oh. Wait a minute. Ha! I realized that a bit before I committed to the situation. Oh. Oh. Well, I totally shot that wall with a bub V. Um can waste a couple double jumps. Oh, you only get up there with double jump. It wasn't a waste. It was the intended pathway. Oh. Yeah, since he hit me, I wasn't going to get rewarded for killing him very well. Because I think I mentioned before... Oh, Tree Bomb 3, just sitting there. In blue mystery data. Yeah, if an enemy hits you, that's like it affects your busting level, which is invisible in this game. But in the main games, you can see it. Oh, I expected ground there for some reason. Some silly reason. Yeah, these plants have enough HP that it's tough to. Uh, I shouldn't have uncanned him. Okay, so this is just for green mystery data and money. I... Fine with me. How much money do I have? Wow! 
made like 13k since I bought the stuff that I bought at the beginning. Large health and I'm fine. Of course, small health is barely any impact at all. Let's see, since I added like, oh, yeah, I feel like you tend to only get the good rewards from enemies if you are able to approach them horizontally. Like, if you have to platform your way up to them, you're probably not going to get much. Oh, what hit me? Oh, can the rat go along the thing? Actually, I bet I can... Yeah, hit the platform. Okay, so there's definitely blue mystery data there. Also, given the large energy that we passed on our way down, I bet that the boss room is there. Yeah. Blue mystery data belongs to those who still have double jumps remaining. I didn't have double jump selected. <laughs> That's what happens when you have bubbler instead of double jump. Hi, HP. Uh, let's get chips and fight this duder. Oh, is that Z Saber? Excellent. I think it's you doing the same attack that Zero does, but without time frozen and less damage. Oh man, it's Pharaoh Man. I have... Yeah, King of the Navis. <laughs> and go! Oh, hi. And his invincibility doesn't really show up, because he doesn't stagger in a normal sort of way. Uh, I guess I'm wasting a little of the recovery. But you know, we've got this fight pretty much. What? Oh, that's an actual rat on enemy. And the poison dispenser things are kind of evil. Yeah, I needed to get rid of those rats. My Buster kind of deals mega damage, doesn't it? Like, why even use chips on bosses? Just, just use the Buster. It's amazing. Oh man, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, there's some random old data that Mega Man thought looked important. Yeah, amazing. Mm hmm. Since he wasn't pacing around the room, I thought that some event was still going on. So, uh, yeah, I've got 900 hit points now. That's pretty good as far as collection percentage goes, I would say. Um, next time, I'll probably refight some Navis at the battle simulator. 
Then I'll get my final folder set up, and it'll be time to end the game in a week. See ya!